show where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today I am wearing a beanie. It's not something I usually wear. My head is pretty large, so typically hats just do not work for me, but we're trying stuff out here. With that being said, if at any point during this video I start to not make any sense, my blood circulation was cut off by my abnormally large dome piece. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but fair warning. Today's video is about boots. Boots is what today's video is about. My last video, I um, had a lot of commenters who said, oh, please drop a boot video. We need boot recommendations, boot collection video, like all this stuff about boots. And I was like, hey guys, in a community post, I was like, hey guys, if this video gets 300 likes, I'll drop a boot video this week. And I have not checked that video since then, so I don't even know when the likes, what the likes are at right now, but um, we're filming the video anyways, so you guys are very welcome. Don't even don't even worry about it. If you want to subscribe, if you're not already, you could do that. That would be a good way of uh, showing your appreciation, or perhaps liking this video, commenting on this video, any of that will do. But let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to segment this video into both my suggestions as well as my personal collection right now. So we're gonna kind of start with what I sort of look for. We're gonna break into the suggestions. I'll show off some of my very own. So let's get started with what I look for. This is just what I look for personally when I'm like shopping for boots or you know seeing them in person, whatever. The first thing is like exaggerated details. When I say exaggerated details, I mean things like the heel. Is it like a platform or is it just like a giant Cuban heel or like, you know, stuff like that. The toe cap, maybe it's like a crazy square toe or maybe it's like, you know, like a tabby hardware. So maybe a giant, a giant ass zipper or some sort of like crazy buckles, just something that's like kind of eye catching. Color could be an example. So, you know, like a black boot versus like a vibrant red. That's, that's pretty much what I'm getting at with details, like exaggerated details. I also look at quality, obviously. When it comes to boots in general, it should be better quality. A boot or any sort of leather footwear should be better quality than a sneaker, for example. It's just, you know, built built different. So I look for the leather quality or whether it's suede. I look at the sole. Is it a Vibram sole or is it just, you know, like a random, you know, like whatever else. I look at zippers. So is it like, you know, a YKK? Is it a Riri zipper or is it just like some like random whatever kind of thing? It's important to look at those types of things, especially when it comes to dropping a large sum of money. You don't want to buy something that's not going to hold up well, that just like doesn't really add up to that value. So that's important to kind of look at and assess yourself. I also look at wearability. So like, I probably am not gonna pay as much money for a boot that I'll wear like seldomly as I would for like a daily driver. That's just me personally. I know other people feel differently about that. When I dropped my my basic videos in the past and I say, you know, I'll spend 80 bucks on it on a white t-shirt if it's great quality and I can wear it all the time. And some people just can't fathom that. So I don't know if, if this will make more sense or if this will be like the same thing, but that's just how I feel. Also like versatility, obviously, like is it a boot that's gonna wear, that's gonna pair well with lots of things you own or is it gonna pair well with one singular outfit? So all things to consider, but this kind of segues into how much should I pay for a pair of boots? And ultimately there's no set value of what, what amount of money you should spend on a pair of boots. At the retail level, if you're buying it for retail at a store, I'm gonna go ahead and say that 150 is kind of like, I don't know if you're gonna find a great boot for under 150 unless it's on sale or something. And 150 is about the price of a pair of Doc Martens. So Docs are obviously, they're good quality. They're gonna last you, you know, like pretty much as long as you want them to and you can beat them up a little bit. Also, it's just a great entry level boot for someone who's like maybe like grown up on sneakers and wants something like elevated. That's, that's an option for you as well. So sure, you probably can find a pair of boots for cheaper and depending on the wear that you're gonna put on it, it might be fine. But for me, I think that's like a good base level of quality. The way I see a Doc Martin boot is sort of the way that I see like a Chuck 70 for sneakers. So like a Chuck 70 is like, it's a reliable shoe. It can pair with a lot of stuff. It comes in a lot of different colors. Um, the quality is good, but it's not like, you know, like the craziest sneaker of all time by any means. It's just a good, reliable, everyday sneaker. And that's kind of how I see Doc Martens in the boot world. So take that with whatever you, 
want to, I guess. Um, that is pretty much all I have to say. Obviously, second hand is going to be your best bet to find any of these boots for a cheaper value. Um, whether you're looking at a pair of Doc Martens or whether you're looking at a pair of And Amulemeisters, you're going to be able to get it cheaper on the second hand level. So that's always my recommendation. But with that being said, I pulled some boots and there's a lot of them. So let's get into it. First up is this pair of Doc Martens. As I said, it's a good entry level boot and I wanted to have all price ranges and just a lot of diversity in this list. So it is the Doc Martin Black Vegan 1460 Bex Mono Boots. What I like about this is it doesn't have the yellow stitching. It's a great everyday boot, kind of hits right at the ankle. Not too much else to say about it. I think there might be a non-vegan version if you'd rather have like real leather. I think either one is gonna be pretty durable. They're on sale right now on Essence, so I'll probably link some of these. If you use any of the Essence links and like want to actually buy something, it does benefit me just to be fully transparent. With that being said, we'll see if I even wanna like put all the links, cause you know, it's gonna be a lot of work sometimes. Just kidding, I'll put the links. Don't feel pressured to buy anything. These are mostly just for inspo, I guess. Next up is a pair of camper boots, which is similar to the Doc Martin pair, a little bit more expensive at the retail level. They're on sale right now for 184, but I do think that this pair is a little bit more sleek in my opinion. I really like this one. It's again, it's a good everyday boot. Very, very similar to the Doc Martin pair. I think it's a little more low profile. That's just me. Either one of these would be a great like starter boot if you're someone who's just trying to get something to kind of get into that world of boots, if you will. So I wanted to include those. But next up, it's this pair of Clark's Wallabies, um, but it's this like burgundy paisley pair. They run for like 250, which is obviously a lot higher than these other two, as well as it's a lot higher than a typical pair of Clark's Wallabies. So if you're interested in the silhouette and the silhouette alone, you can definitely just get a solid color for probably like a hundred bucks less than this. I just thought the pattern was pretty cool on these ones. A great like statement piece, if you will. And I kind of like the muted tones, so I wanted to include it, but we're gonna keep it moving because there are a lot of suggestions. Next up, we have another one from Camper, but it's from the Camper Lab collection, which the Camper Lab stuff in general is just gonna be a lot more like, eclectic. It's a lot more eclectic, a lot more vibrant, a lot more almost futuristic-y looking. It's just really, really good stuff. I highly recommend looking at Camper Lab. It is this pair of Tractori boots is what they're called. They're white, they look very futuristic. They're Super sick. They run for 370 new. You can find them on sale sometimes as well, but just a great boot. I have contemplated these before. I feel like this all white pair I would probably wear a lot. So maybe, just maybe, I'll have to uh, pull the trigger one of these days, but um, very solid and it comes in a lot of different colors. So moving right along, we have this pair from DMA or DM, however you say it. I've now heard people tell me both different pronunciations, so I like DMA better. We're gonna go with that. This is this pair of Rachia, Rasia Vet black fabric boots. It is like this hiker model. It's very technical looking. It's like this black technical fabric. It comes in a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different materials. You can get them leather, you can get them suede, all of that. Just a beautiful silhouette, a beautiful everyday shoe. Again, it's one of those that I've looked at for a long time and just have never pulled the trigger on it. You can't go wrong, honestly. I'd probably wear them all the time if I had them. And I have had a pair of DMAs in the past. The quality is excellent, so big, big recommendation. <laughs> Moving right along, we have a higher price point boot now. It is this pair of Alix boots. While you can find these on sale, on the Essence sale, I'm not sure if there is one on the Essence sale right now. This one just came up first. So this one's 900 bucks, nearly a thousand dollars. I've seen these ones like, I swear I feel like I've seen this boot for like four something on the sale. Or you can obviously look secondhand, but it is super sick. It's very futuristic looking once again. It's got the Vibram sole, this like super exaggerated, like rigid looking sole. And then it's like also kind of a platform and it's like a Chelsea style. So really, really cool. Segwaying into the next boot, it is almost a cheaper alternative, which I think also looks equally sick. Sometimes when you see these like cheaper alternatives, it just looks like ran down version of the first one. But I think this one honestly is cool. I think it's like, it's very similar, but it's enough different where I feel like it like, you know, it kind of stands, it's, it stands on its own a little bit, you know? But very similar, very, very similar. But still pretty cool. It's this pair of Sorel boots, Sorel, Sorel, however you want to say it. It's the Sorel Brex Chelsea boot. Technically a women's model, so for all my Bigfoot, People out there, sorry, you're gonna have to sit this one out. Short Kings, today we feast. These things are on sale right now for like 120 bucks. Pretty, pretty good deal. But let's move right along into the next boot. It is another Chelsea boot. 
kind of reminiscent of one of the boots in my collection that you probably already know about because I talk about it all the time on this channel, but it is this pair of Both boots. It's a brand called Both, which honestly, they're pretty expensive still, but I do think this is kind of a good alternative to like a Rick Owens Beetle boot or like the Chelsea boot, whatever it is. I think this is kind of a good cheaper alternative. It's still like 500 bucks, so I say that with a grain of salt, very expensive still. You can get these on sale at times. Obviously the materials are gonna be nice. They're gonna hold up well. Boots just get, they get expensive. That's kinda, it kinda is what it is with boots. But yeah, I think this is a good one. It's this, um, it's the both Gao, Jiao, Chelsea in black. It's like partial rubber, partial leather. This is kind of beautiful, like almost tractory looking sole. And yeah, I think it's a good one. Honestly, if I didn't have these ones that I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit already, I think this would be a great option. So yeah, we are moving at a great speed right now. The next one up is this pair of Yucatan boots. I have had a pair of Yucatans in the past. I will give you some fair warning about Yucatans. They are all handmade, which is amazing. However, the break-in process is going to be rough. So if you're not someone who can withstand discomfort, if you're not someone who has broken in hard to break shoes in the past, this one might be one for you to sit out. However, this boot is amazing looking. It is beautiful. It's like color blocks as well as this like patterned toe with this like bandana print. I had it may have been the same model in a different colorway. I probably should not have gotten rid of them, honestly. They just hurt so bad the one time I wore them. And I got them for such a steal, too. But they're great. They're a great looking boot. They're great quality. They're super expensive. I got my pair for like 120 bucks. These are like 680. So they're very expensive. The craftsmanship that goes into them, the detail, all of that, it really stacks up with, really, there's no stacking up with. A lot of these like designer brand boots, like while they're like great and like, they have some hype and stuff, like most of them don't actually have as good a quality as these Yucatan boots do. So that's, that's that. Um, but I do have a cheaper alternative actually for these Yucatan boots. And it is this pair of Sabagos in collaboration with Engineer Garments. I don't know if Sabago makes this, I don't know if they make this same silhouette in a non-Engineer Garments version for cheaper. But this one's 350 and I just thought it was really cool as well. I was surfing a lot on Essence for this, so I do have some that aren't on Essence. I would check out some of Sabago stuff as well, perhaps. I think I had a pair of them back in the day, and they were they were solid. So uh, these are nice, similar silhouette, kind of a cool like lacing system on it. I just see it as a good everyday boot, so wanted to put it in there. We got a few more before we get into my personal collection. This one is probably one of the more standout boots from this list here. It's this pair of Kiko boots and they are a knee-high boot practically. I think they are sick. On the bottom, it's like a rubberized boot, like similar to like, it's not really similar to a Bottega. It's almost like more of like a duck boot type silhouette, but all black. And then it has this like amazing, like kind of like strap thing that goes up the, up the leg. Very futuristic looking. I love the little cinch in the back. I honestly feel like that gives a lot of like detail. And then I think it's a zipper front actually. I'm. I didn't get multiple angles, but I'm pretty, yeah, there's a zipper there. They are sick. I honestly had to contemplate it, but I was like, you know, I don't know if I want to spend 500 bucks on a rubber boot. If I went to tuck my pants into this boot, I would look literally 5'2". So if you're a short king, this might be a boot for you to sit out on. Just giving you the fair warning, but a very, very cool boot nevertheless. Next up, we're going to get some Western, some Western vibes in here, you know? So it's this pair of Diego boots from, from the first. They're going to be a little more pricey, but it is like a great alternative to like an SLP boot, which uh, I might just mess around and show you a pair of them in a second. A good boot right here. It's a good everyday Western-y type boot. It would look really great with flares. It would look good with even like a slimmer fit jean. I just wanted to, wanted to get some Western vibes in there because that is one style of boot that I definitely wear frequently. I think of it as more of like a formal style as well. So if you're dressing up one day, it might be good to have one of these. Whereas if you're kind of dressing down just like on, on some whatever type stuff, maybe like the hiking boot or a Chelsea would be more appropriate. To give you guys an even cheaper alternative of that cheaper alternative, we have this pair from a brand called Tacovas. I've never heard of this brand actually. I keep getting ads for them in my Gmail, so I guess, I guess they're getting what they want out of this ad by me putting it on in this video, but it's just another Western-y style boot. It seems like the quality is pretty good. 250 is the price point. If any of you guys know anything about this brand, definitely let 
me as well as anyone else watching this in the comments how the quality is how they are all of that from a from a look perspective they look great from like reading the description they seem like they'd be a great boot and then lastly this boot is not available for purchase at this very moment, but I gotta put on the homie Ray. He dropped the infantry boots from his brand Ore. They're sick, they are really, really great. Definitely one of the best combat boots I've seen in quite some time. They got the back zip on it, they got the little Ore stamp on the on the back. Got the little olive green stitching going on. That's just me. We'll take this here Selly and put it in the pocket because now we are on to the portion of the video where I'm going to show off stuff from my personal collection. But first, let's go thrifting. All right, we interrupted this video to go thrift. We're gonna try this whole vlogging thing out, which is, you know, not usually my thing, but let me know in the comments if you'd like it, and we can maybe keep it going. Hopefully these thrifts have something good. Lately, they've been pretty shit, but uh, we're gonna try to be optimistic. Let's do it. But first, let's have some coffee. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so I lied. Our first spot is actually uh, REI. This mask is kind of gross, and it's the uh, one place I know that gives them out. Oh, dude. Call me a hype beast. I don't even care. These are hard. You're a hype beast, dude. Wow. Honestly? I never oh, thought I'd wow. see it again. Crazy. The yellow's kind of nice. I can't decide if my head is just too big for hats or if this like sort of kind of works. Honestly though, it's been cold lately. I might just do it. All right, and now we go to Goodwill. I uh, I cop the beanie. Garbage, 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 trash. All right, we got the women's small Patagonia little vest. Not bad. Now we're going to Plato's Closet, which isn't a thrift store, but whatever. So I may have uh, forgotten to film in Plato's, as well as Ragarama that we went to after. I did find a shirt at Ragarama that I filmed, but uh, I missed a lot of uh, in between, so my bad. <laughs> Not too bad. All right, now that we're back from that lovely adventure and you guys can sort of see how I got this here hat on my dome, let's share my boots. Let's talk about them. I have, I only have five pairs. I've really slimmed down the closet. So uh, yeah, I have five pairs, five pairs of boots. Let's get into the first one though. So first off, we have these SLP Lucas boots. They're in this like tannish color. I bought these secondhand, so we were talking about all these boots earlier, like alternatives, but these ones were $350. That's a pretty good price for a secondhand pair of these. They definitely go for a little bit more on secondhand sites. You gotta check your consignment shops, you gotta check your other like random secondhand stores in the in the area. And you just gotta like, you know, even if you're not buying these brands or like from the actual retail site, just take like a little mental note of like, oh, I remember that brand. I watched I watched Mark Boudelier's video on that, and I remember that brand, and now I'm seeing it at a at a secondhand shop for 100 bucks, 80 bucks. But yeah, these are great. Great Western style. Quality is pretty good. I don't wear these as much as I probably should, because I tend to gravitate more towards black boots. I like this as like a good switch up, so wanted to show them. The next up, we'll stick to the Western boots vibe. It's this pair from Toga Virilis. I have certainly shown these a lot. They are great. They're very comfortable as well. I always talk about the comfort. I wore these walking around in the streets of New York for like a week long. They held up. I honestly, I think a rubber sole is something that is actually kind of underrated in the world of boots. Um, a lot of people want like the full, the full leather type of type of thing, but I think a rubber sole makes them a lot more durable, makes them a lot more comfortable, prevents you from having to get them resold and stuff. So whenever I'm wearing flares, stuff like that, or anything skinnier, for example. That's kind of the boot that I go for. All right, next, we have these big chunky boys that I talk about far too often. I think I literally talked about them in the last video. But they are these 80s Ortega boots. I am putting on 80s way too much. 80s, if you're watching this, I think it's time. I think it's time to cut the, cut the sponsor. I definitely talk about these so, so much on all of my channels, but they are great. One of my favorite boots. 
Breaking these in was terrible. I almost pulled my entire heel off. It was worth it. It was worth it. The platform on this is amazing. Really gives you that extra height. It looks great with cropped pants. It looks great with pants that are a little bit too long. It's a very forgiving pair of boots and they look great. The square toe, nice little touch as well. Great boots, like alternative to like buying a pair of like Bottega tire boots or something like that. I feel like these are honestly more versatile than those. Yeah, they look good. They look good, they're cheaper. You can find them on sale sometimes or secondhand. Next up, we have a pair of hiking boot sneaker things. I was kind of hesitant to whether or not I even wanted to show these on this video, just because to me, they're more of a sneaker than a boot, but I think they're advertised as a boot. So yeah, this is a pair of New Balance, Tokyo Design, Neobium, like Snow Peak, whatever's. To be honest, I've had these for a while and I have slightly considered getting rid of them simply because I don't wear them that that much. Although they're a good shoe to kind of like mess around with and actually like go outside and like kind of beat up a little bit. And obviously it's like the three in one situation as well. So you can like unzip this, turn it into a mule, which is nice. I like that versatility aspect. I do wish these were all black and I sort of am kind of in a weird thing right now where sneakers are harder for me to wear as well as anything that doesn't have like a nice platform. Like to me, these just feel so flat at this point. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of them just yet, but we'll see. I still would definitely recommend like anyone like who wants like a pair of like hiking type boots. I think this is a great option and I think it's just like a very versatile. Granted that you get like, really it's two in one. Like the third thing is like just the slipper, but like when are you gonna ever wear just the slipper? I don't. Having the mule boot thing for like spring, summer, fall, winter, it's nice. It's very nice. Let's talk about my last boot though. This one, I don't know if I've shown on this channel yet. It is this pair of Margiela Fusion Tabby boot sneaker things. <laughs> These are really sick as well. I've always wanted a pair of tabbies and I've always liked the white painted ones, which these kind of are. With that being said, I definitely would probably rather have the regular boots than these, but they're still very cool, very interesting. I traded for these at Full Circle, which is a resale shop in Atlanta. They had them for a pretty good price. I think they had them for like four, 450, something like that. And I traded so I didn't have to pay a dime. I haven't really worn these too much yet. I think I've worn them like once, twice. Probably a little more comfy, I would imagine, than the regular tabbies. I've never owned or worn a pair of regular tabbies, but they're great. They're nice, they're good colorway. Hopefully I find some ways to wear them soon because I don't know, man. I think they're I think they're fun. I think they're cool. I I mean they're like disgusting. Like they're ugly. Don't get me wrong. They're they're hideous. They have like this paint, the paint chips, they got the hot glue all that like they look like they've been through some tough times honestly but uh i still like them you could step in infinite amounts of gum and it would just look you know look like it was meant to be but anyways that is all of my boots this was a doozy of a video lots of stuff going on lots of suggestions all of these my thrift trip let me know if you enjoyed this type of video let me know if you enjoy like the longer the longer videos and or like the vlog style all of that because I can definitely keep it going if you guys enjoy it or maybe I break it into multiple videos, you know? If you wanna give me more suggestions, you can also always join my Discord. We have a whole category dedicated to YouTube suggestions and I'm fully open to doing them. Within reason. Definitely join, talk to, talk to people. It's a great community and it's only growing more and more as the days go on. Um, you can follow me on Instagram as well. You can follow my, uh, my editor, my cameraman, Bailey on Instagram. He also has a fun filter, a fun filter where you can put me in the room with you. You can try using that as well. That's it, that's everything. That's the video. I appreciate you guys sticking around with me. And um, until next time.